Hello, Mr. Wathi here. Today we'll be looking at using a Bluetooth module to control some motors on our Arduino Uno. So this is kind of the setup we have, except that we're going to have Motor Shield, Adafruit Motor Shield V2 on top of here. I've made a video that covers how to program that, but we'll also go through some of that today. And we'll be using Remote XY, this app right here, um, to create our app. All right, let's get started with Remote XY. So first thing, we'll go to the editor. And the cool thing with the editor here, we can decide to use some buttons. Here we go. So right off the bat on the left, we have some controls. I just want a couple buttons, one for forward, and I'll spam that button. And I'll grab another one for backward. Those look almost the same size. And on the right, you see when I click on a button, we have the element properties. We can change those colors right here. Wow, that's pretty. We can give it a name. Let's call this uh, button uh, forward underscore direction. I'm using underscore because we have to follow the C++ rules. Therefore, no spaces. And I will just type that out forward. And this is what shows up in the caption. We can change the color of the caption as well. I like white. No, red is ugly. Let's stay with white. And finally, what's really important here is choosing a pin to snap to the button. So that means when this button is pressed, this pin will go high. When it's released, this pin is low. Other configuration here, by default, it's uh, we have Arduino Uno, HC05, but you can also use the um, HM10 for those iPhone users. And I like to use the soft zero, that way our RX and TX pins, we plugged into two and three. So it'll be the same setup scroll up as I have right here. So the RX goes into three, the TX goes to two, which I know is the opposite here. TX three, RX two. That's because it's the RX of the board and TX of the board and not that of the module. Let's move on. Let's make our next button. Beautiful. Let's call it uh, backward direction. And again, that's just the variable name. Call it whatever you want, but it's always good to call it something that makes sense. Backward. And I'm going to snap this to number nine. Awesome. So again, this is a very simple pro program. It's going forward and back. I'm going to pretend that I have two motors plugged in. Imagine a car of two motors. And then we click there to get the code. Okay, we're gonna pause, we'll come back here. We're now gonna go to block the Arduino. And I want to do the rest of the code. Let's take a look. Okay, so first off, we're gonna use the setup Arduino loop forever. And I want to have it, I'm gonna go back here. Actually, let's just go back, there we go. I wanna have it so when I press the forward button that the two motors go forward, when I press the backwards, backward button, the two motors go back. Um, it's taking forever. So let's go back here. So that means I want to use a if statement. So I'll say if the logical state of pin eight, remember eight was attached to the forward pin. So we're using digital pin eight here because if we go back to our setup, pin eight is connected to the forward button. We have pin nine to the backward button. So we're saying if pin eight is high, that means this button is being pressed. What do we want to happen? Well, I want to go down to motor shield, shield motors, out of root motor shield V2. And we're gonna have two DC motors. Let's copy and paste those guys. And let's just say they're plugged into M1 and M2. Uh, one thing you have to do is specify is the speed. So grab a number block. Let's go full speed ahead. All right, cool. So that means when that F button here is being pressed, pin 8 is high. When pin 8 is high, both the motors will be going forward. Great. 
Now for backward, let's click on the gear and we're gonna do a little else if. We'll hold on that, control C to copy, control V to paste. I'm gonna grab that, just click on the orange, control C to copy, control V to paste, pop that in there. We change that to nine. And here, instead of saying forward, we're gonna say backward. So pin nine will be high if the backward button is being pressed. When the backward, backward button is released, pin nine is low. So there's one last thing that we need. We need to add a final else. If we don't add the final else, what's gonna happen? Say I press that pin eight, the motors go forward, I release the pin eight, the motors will still go forward because I didn't tell them to stop. I press the pin nine, well, the motors will now go backward, but then they don't stop until, you know, because um, I didn't tell them to stop. So what we need to have is this final else that says stop. Awesome. And so what we're gonna do is grab this code here. So we click on the sunglasses, click on copy code. And this is where we wanna pull up the Arduino ID. So I click on the Arduino ID and I wait for it to load. And while we wait for it to load, um, you will need to download the Remote XY app, either from the Google Play or App Store. I, yeah, 3.1, that's not good. There's probably a better program out there. If you use a different program for Bluetooth for Arduino, uh, let me know. I'd love to learn a better one. Okay, so I have my Arduino IDE that loaded. And I will just make a new window. And I will close the old one. And let's make another new window. There we go. And so what I want to do here now, I want to grab this code, copy it, paste it into control A, control V, paste it into one of these windows. And then I want to go to remote XY. I want to grab the source code. And what I'm going to do, I'll just grab all of this, control C, make sure you, you get that last bracket. Otherwise you, you'll get an error. So control C to copy, control A, control V. And before I start, before you start, if you have not used remote XY before, you'll have to go to tools, sorry, sketch, include library, manage libraries. And you'll have to download the remote XY library. Just type in remote XY. It's right there. Oh, it looks like I need to download it. Weird. And you can install it. And once that's installed, you probably want to download also the Adafruit Motor Shield V2 as well. So let's type that in. Let's see. Adafruit Motor. And that should come up as well, V2. And I can see that update. Let's go install all. There we go, sweet. That's done. So now what we wanna do, we wanna combine these two codes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the code from the left, from the motor shield, the block link, and combine it with the remote XY. And so what the best place to do there's kind of three sections of code. There's the stuff before before the void. There's the stuff in the void. Sorry, in before the setup. There's stuff in the setup, and there's stuff in the loop. Okay, so we're gonna grab all the stuff before the setup. Go Control C, copy, and we're gonna go just to where there's all those comments that says N Remote X Y include. We're just gonna paste it right in there. And now we'll go to void setup, and we see that there's already these two pin modes. Um, as outputs, we, we can take all of this, but um, I find it works best if we just take the AFMS begin, paste that right in there. And then finally, we have the loop section. We wanna grab all over here. We don't want that last bracket, because that belongs up here. And we'll just paste it right there. And there you have it. So if I were to upload this onto my Arduino, which has a motor shield, with two motors plugged into uh, M1 and M2. Uh, 
I would be able to control it. You know, I could pull up remote XY on my phone and I would be able to control it with the two buttons, the forward and back button. Um, that's super exciting. Maybe I'll take a video clip of that happening. But for now, you have uh, the opportunity to use the code yourself to combine the two. You go from there, make sure you like and subscribe and take a look at some other videos. And again, if you use another Bluetooth app, please let me know. Um, this one, I find it works decent, but I'm sure there's better ones out there. Okay, signing off. Cheers.